Okay, so this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and a few people have been asking how they can add armholes for the car seat ponchos. A little hesitant to tell you to do this because it sort of defeats the purpose of the car seat poncho in terms of making it easier to get in and out of the car if you have armholes. But we're going to try this. <clears throat> I have decided to actually add some slits to each side and we will be able to snap and unsnap them. I measured 14, 13 inches from, or I folded it in half, measured 13 inches from the halfway point to um, down to here and put a pin. And that's for the front piece only. And I did the same thing on the other side. On the top, I've marked either side of the hood area. The reason is just because I'm going to put a snap there to close it better. But what we're going to do is we are going to cut up here. We are just going to cut a line right here. And we are going to need some binding of some sort for that. So I'm going to cut a slit here first. Okay, as you can see, I've cut a slit about 18 inches long through the top side. This is the back of my poncho and this is the front. So I've only done it on the front. And I've done 18 inches all the way up here. And I just put a, um, you can use a pin or um, one of these clips to just hold the layers together. It shouldn't really shift, but <clears throat> yeah. So now I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, so the first thing I did after I cut that was I just surged the edges closed. And the only reason I do that is I find it's easier for me to put up on binding if it's a little thinner <laughs> and it's not quite as fluffy. So sometimes surging the edges helps do that. That's just my opinion. I don't know if that's actually, like most people will find that. And the other thing you can do, if you don't have a serger, you could also just zigzag or baste it. Just something to hold the two layers, the inside and the outside layer together. Um, and again, this is totally an optional step. You could just skip to the next step, which would make sense and be less work, but um, I, I am extra sometimes. So the next thing you want to do is add your binding. I don't have the same binding that I used for this. This is an older car seat poncho. I didn't redo my car seat poncho for this, um, for this tutorial. So I'm just going to lay it on there, or get it situated and sew it on. And, um, like you see, it gets sandwiched just like the other ones. And you can actually, uh, fold over this edge a little so that it's, uh, looks a little nicer. I'm going to zigzag all the way up around here, around there, and then back down and again finish or um, fold it over at the end. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And that's all there is in terms of actually sewing. Now, if you wanted to just serge it and just skip the binding, you could probably do that. I don't think it would be a big deal. Um, and after you can add snaps or you might be able to get away with skipping the snaps, but um, we'll see. Okay, so this is where the V is, and obviously I just went around like a U um, to do that, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold it over and just sew a couple of stitches like this so it creates a V, oh sorry, like this so it creates a V again. Um, I just want to hold that in place because I don't want it to stretch out like a U. Oh, geez, sorry. I don't want it to stretch out like a U. I actually want it to be in a V shape. So again, I will fold it over a little and sew it down like that with just a couple little stitches. Okay, just a real quick note on how I folded it over too. I ended up folding it up over just a little in the video before, but I, when I went to do it, I realized I want it to be fairly overlapping just like it would be if it was closed completely. Um, so you really do want to make sure that when you sew the little edge down, just make sure you're sewing uh, so that the two pieces of bias tape are overlapping. Okay, now that I've sewn both sides on, I want to add some snaps. I'm going to actually add my two snaps to close up my neckline a little bit more. This one's actually pretty small, so I don't need it as much, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then I'm going to add snaps across here. And what you do is you poke a little hole with your awl and you apply one snap on this side 
and then one snap on the other side so that they can snap together. And I do have a tutorial on how to add snaps, so make sure to check that out. I'm not going to get into it this time because it's a whole other tutorial. So we're just going to do that all the way down. You can put them as far apart as you want. However, just remember that that's as many snaps as you'll have to snap together when you need to. So I am probably not going to put that many. Um, you know. All right, so I'm going to go do that, and I will show you the finished result. Your jacket! Tristan, show me how your jacket works! Where's your other hand? Boo! Boo! Oh boy, here we go. You saying hello to your friends? Look at your friends. Tristan, say hi. Hi. 